Hello, Hello everybody, everybody out, out there. there. Can, can you, you hear, hear me? me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. All right. Is there, Is an, there echo? an echo? Yes, we can. Yes, yes you, can, you hear can hear me. Hear me. No, no, there's, there's an, an echo. echo. All right. There's no echo. There's no, there's no echo. echo. Did somebody, Did somebody just say that? Was that, was an, that echo? an echo? All right, we're, right, we're going to get started here in a couple minutes. minutes. I know there's some people that made it in yet, so we might wait a couple. There's only a tiny bit of an echo. When are we starting? We're going to start, start here, here in just, just a couple, a couple minutes. minutes. We have some, we have some more friends, friends that, that haven't shown, shown up yet. yet. Exactly. How many people? A lot, a lot of people signed, signed up for this. this. Now, now is a good, is a good time, time if you haven't already, already uh, picked, picked up, up a glass, glass of water and some paper, paper towels, towels and stuff because you might make a mess. mess. So we don't have to go through the whole thing because you're going to send us the recording, right? There will be a recording, yep. yep. So you'll so be able, able to pick up, pick up later, later if you, uh, 
if you don't if you get installed all the way through. through. Still waiting on some friends here. So Sophia is asking why there's only six colors, because uh, you only need six colors. Okay, we got somebody else in here. It can hold up to 100 people. You're exactly right. We have to, we're going to wait until every single person shows up. No, we're not going to wait the whole time. Somebody else coming here. All right. I'm playing with the audio again here. Can you all still hear me? So are you all ready to get started? I see some heads nodding. Okay. All right. So I am Todd Clint. I'm the PTO president this year. I would love to take credit for this idea, but it was not, not mine. It was Amanda. She's sitting over here. Um, I'm going to have you try the audio. There's an echo. We'll see if it drives you as crazy as it drives me. Hi, everybody. Um, we'll get started in just a couple minutes. Like Todd said earlier, earlier if you don't have a cup of paint and some paper towel ready, um, make sure you have that on hand. Testing. That's, a, that's okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. I okay. 
Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you guys have questions during this, your best bet is to get on the chat feature and um, put them through there and somebody else will let me know what your question is and I'll be able to answer. Um, to, just to start out with, everyone should have three paintbrushes, which are in the video here. Um, go ahead and put them in your cup of water because we want to start out um, with wet brushes. And whenever you're not using them, make sure they're in the cup of water just so we don't have any um, cross coloring between the paints. Um, I think everyone saw the snowman when we sent out the sign-up sheet. I'm going to show you quickly just what he's going to look like when we're done. Um, so that's what we're shooting for tonight. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started if everybody's ready. Um, the first color we're going to do tonight is going to be black. We're going to paint the sky background. Um, I like to start with that medium brush, the flat one. Um, so go ahead and take it out of your cup of water. This is where the paper towels come in. Go ahead and dry it off as much as possible. Um, so we're using this medium sized flat brush. Um, the black paint is really runny, so try not to get a lot of it out at one time. Just start with a tiny little bit. We're going to use this medium brush to trace around the snowman and around the carrot nose. And you can turn your canvas um, sideways if you need to, just to make sure that you get all of it covered. I use this brush to make a border and then I'll go back with a bigger brush and fill in the majority of the space. The black paint is pretty thin, so you might need a couple, couple, coat, a couple coats to cover it all. And in this area right here above his head, we're going to end up painting the, the hat. So just get a coat. It doesn't have to be really thick. I've got my outline, outline done. So I'm going to go back with the bigger brush and just fill in the empty space. I can't hear it. It's funny. So you're still getting the echo. I thought you said you were not getting the echo. So I stopped trying to fix the echo. It came back. It came back? Yeah, it was gone.
somebody saying nose? Okay. Are we coloring the nose next? We're going to go ahead and do the white on the body next. And like I said, this black paint is really thin, so it's kind of working well just to give it a couple of really light coats, and we're going to let it dry for a bit in between here. Um, as long as you keep it out of the body, we'll be able to go ahead and let this dry for a minute and then start on the white. How's everyone doing on their black coat? Okay. I'm good. I think I am too. Doing good. Okay. Yeah. Doing good. 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 We'll give everybody just another minute or two to finish up and we're going to let this dry. That's okay. Which brush should we get ready for coloring the body? The big white one. You know what? If you got paint somewhere else, it's okay. The white paint is really thick, so it should cover up. And we can always do a couple layers. And we'll just go over it and just paint over where you kind of smudged. Same goes for the nose. If you got paint in the, if you got black paint in the nose, you can definitely color it white first. If your nose is still pretty clean like mine, you don't have to cover the white behind, um, on the bottom. Thank you. You're welcome. How about just another minute? You're welcome. That's all right. And I think the best part is that when we're all done, everybody's is going to look a little different anyway. So if your um, sky is really dark, that's awesome. If it's lighter, that works too. Okay, so the white, if we, when, when we go to start that, you're going to want to get that big brush out of the water. Make sure all the black paint is out of it. You're going to really um, blot that out on your paper towel till it's not dirty and it's pretty dry. Um, mine looks pretty good. The white paint's a little bit thicker. When you go to start, I would stay kind of away from the edge where we started the black. Use your big brush. Get the white paint on it. And just, I like to go in a nice circular motion because he's round. So I start on the bottom first and just slightly like this. 
The picture I showed you um, earlier had some gray in it, and so once we get the white body done, we're gonna come back, we're gonna mix some gray paint with the black and white, and we're gonna come back and just shade him. So when you're doing this, if you pick up a little bit of the black from the background and smear it in, that's okay. It's gonna be part of the painting, and we can kind of either blend it in or um, touch it up when we're doing the white here. Did you paint the tape? Um, I accidentally painted the tape and then it was like just off. Oh. So then I was like, just good. Um, I painted a different tape and then it was on. Cool. I made it look like a different tape. Nice. Good. Good. That's awesome. Like I said, everyone should look a little different, so you can kind of make them however you want. How's everyone doing with the white? Okay, I'll let everybody finish up. We're going to shade the gray on the snowman. So we need to keep that white brush um, covered in white paint, and I'll kind of show you what we're going to do. Um, I'll let everybody finish up the white coat really quick, and then I'll show you how to mix the paint. Still getting echo? Did it just go away like 30 seconds ago? Yeah. Okay, so everybody should have had a styrofoam plate in their um, painting kit. That's what we're going to use to kind of mix our colors together. We want a really faint gray. So what I do is I take my white paint and my big brush. I scoop just a little bit out like this, and I'm going to put it on my plate. Just like that. You don't need a lot of paint. It's going to be just a very tiny bit, and we'll kind of swirl it through where we have the snowman painted. And you want the white paint you already put down. That should be um, a little bit wet still, because we're going to want to mix the gray in, um, into that paint. So take your white on your plate, get your medium-sized brush, the little one, and just take a tiny dot of black paint and just put it next to your white and then slowly start to mix them together. I like to go in a circle until I get the color I like. You can keep pulling in the white paint and the black until you get a nice faint gray color. Like that. You can stick with that medium brush. I would um, put it in the water first before I come back with the gray and just get most of that black paint off of it. Um, go to your paper towel, dry it off again, and then come back to your plate with the gray just a tiny bit. And you're going to start on this bottom left corner of your snowman's body. So just slightly put some gray in the color. And your white paint that you already have down is going to start moving, and that's what you're looking for. Because you want this nice, round um, shade shadow to come in. And then I usually go around the bottom in a circular motion and come up on the back side of the snowman.
And if you get parts that are light and dark, that's kind of what you're looking for. So don't worry about that at all. Just keep, keep swirling. <laughs> Does look a little bit green, doesn't it? That's okay. Once I get the body done, I'm going to go up to the bottom of his face, just under that carrot nose, and I'm going to start to swirl like what would be his head. And we want that same shadow effect on his face. Start under his nose and then just swirl it back up towards the back of his head, towards the ed edge of your canvas. That's okay. The paint should be wet. You can probably move it around still. Just get a little, get a clean brush and a little more white paint, and you can just kind of um, smooth it out. So you've never painted a snowman. Have you made a snowman? How's everybody doing on their shading? Good. I see some thumbs up and I've heard some goods, so I think we're on the right track. That's okay. I'm done. Can we stay on mute or not? You can stay on mute, definitely. Uh, mine still has kind of the white outline in the middle. So his belly and the middle of his head are definitely very white. Um, if your paint gets kind of blobbed up where it's, you know, white, you can either use a really dry brush and just smooth it out. Um, I think your best bet's going to be to let this paint dry just a smidge and then come back in a couple minutes with that dry brush and kind of um, mix them together. The paint's not drying the best right now, so we're going to see how we do here. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to, oh, we're going to let this dry for a couple minutes. Um, I think in between what we're going to do is um, we're going to give out a couple of prizes. We're going to have some, um, some questions, uh, some trivia, winter trivia questions that we're going to do on the chat app thing here. So I'm going to read you the question and you're going to have to type in the answer. Um, and the first person to type in the correct answer, we're going to get you a $10 gift card to Target. Um, I'm going to do two questions while we're waiting for these two colors to dry because my black is about getting dry and the white is still pretty wet. So we're going to take a couple minutes. Yeah. So, no, not at all. And we're not even going to mark you off for spelling. We just need the correct answer. Excuse <laughs> me? Yeah. Um, as long as one of you can type in the answer or if your parent is there to type it in, um, just have one person ready to type. And whoever gets it, out of everybody that's on here, whoever gets the right answer first, that's who we're going to. So let's say the answer of the question was snowman. Like this. Does that count? Um, well, that's not the answer, so. 
<laughs> no, the answer is going to be very specific. Um, so it's not, there shouldn't be any question about, about what the correct answer is. All right. Everyone get ready for your chat. I'm going to read the first question, okay? In the 2018 Winter Olympics, who became the youngest woman to win a gold medal in snowboarding at the age of 17? I'll go ahead and repeat the question. In the 2018 Winter Olympics, who, who became the youngest woman to win a gold medal in snowboarding at the age of 17? That's okay. All right, we do have a correct answer. It looks like Rosalie was the first one to uh, get her answer in there. So Rosalie, congratulations. We will, we have your info. We're gonna get um, a $10 gift card to Target coming your way after this whole event's over, okay? All right, mine still needs some more drying time, so we're gonna do one more question, all right? Is everybody ready? It's a little bit easier. All right, the next question is, all snowflakes have the same amount of sides. How many sides does a snowflake have? So the question is, how many sides does a snowflake have? And I see a lot of answers coming through. Um, it looks like Steven Schroeder. So is it Clara and Avis, is that who? Who typed that one in? All right. All right, perfect. So you guys also have a $10 gift card to Target coming your way after the event. Okay, how is everybody's white and black uh, canvas, or how is your white and black paint looking on the canvas? It's not quite dry. Okay. Mine's still a little wet too, so we're gonna just give it just a minute. Okay. Yeah. It's, I've got a couple questions, but I'm going to leave them for a little bit later, all right? I've got two more questions later on. Um, go ahead. If you don't have your brushes all cleaned out right now, this is a good time to get them in the water and get your paper towels and really get them um, cleaned out and dried off. Our next part that we're going to do is going to be the nose, and then I think we're going to come back in with the white snowflakes and maybe the hat. We do that. I'm going to wait till the white is really dry and we're going to come back in at the end and we're going to do the scarf here. We're going to do the mouth, the eyes, the buttons, anything that's on the white right now, just because we want that to get pretty dry. Um, sure. For that nose, we're going to use that medium size, the little flat one um, for the orange. So we're looking for this flat brush here for the orange. And then we're going to let that dry and we're going to come back in with that little skinny detail brush and we're going to put those stripes and um, the black and white. So I'll show you what the nose is going to kind of look like. That's the one I did. So we're going to paint the orange first and then we're going to come in with that detail brush and we're going to put a little bit of white on the top and we're going to put the black lines in. But we need that orange to dry pretty well first. All right, how does everybody's nose? Is it looking pretty pretty dry? I know some people had to paint over it a little bit. Okay, so go ahead and get your orange cup of paint. We don't need to mix it at all, so you can use it straight out of the cup. Take that medium-sized brush and just get a little bit to start with. And just go inside the line that we have stenciled there. This medium one here. So not the really skinny pointy one and not the big one. There's one that's kind of a flat blue handle. Yeah. Yep. And just when you take it out of the water, make sure the brush is dried off pretty well. And again, just nice, thin, even coats. And we might have to do two.
And since you already have the black outline done, just get as close to that as you can without smearing or trying not to smear it all over the place. And if you do, it's fine. There should be extra paint. You can always come back in at the end and touch up any spots that you think need it. Awesome. I'm not even done yet. You're beating me. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Awesome. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're going to let that dry for just a minute. Is everyone about done with their carrot? Or with the orange part at least? Okay. Yes. All right, I'm gonna give it just a second to dry. And I think I'm going to do the arm next with the brown. Mine is pretty, my black paint is pretty dry behind where the arm's gonna go. So I think that'll be a good um, spot to go to next. Um, let's go with the small one to start, and if we need to switch, we can always get the medium one out. So you should have just a tiny bit of brown paint in the cup, because it's just that little twig arm, and there's not a whole lot that we need. Um, I'll show you what the arm looks like on the example one. So we kind of just went like a little curve upward, and then a couple little branches off it. To be honest, you can make your branch whatever shape you want. Um, they're all going to be different and just have some fun with it. So I start about a little above midway through his body. Um, I'll go ahead and just use a little bit of brown paint and start drawing a curve. I've got the small one. If you want to use the medium one, that is fine too. I've got the little one. You guys can use the medium if you like that better. Um, I'm going to use the small and just kind of keep adding to it until I get the size twig that I like. Definitely. And then mine I had in the original one, I kind of curved down this way. And then... I had another branch up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I would let it dry just a little bit on the orange, on the nose, and then once it's dry, you can come back and add another layer. Okay. No worries. You're going to do a moon? That's awesome. All right. What do you guys think? Does my arm look okay? I think it's all right. All right. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna let my arm dry for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little brush back in the water and clean it off. Um, the next part that I wanna put on is the red, um, where his hat's gonna be on the top of the canvas. Mine's pretty much dry, so we're gonna hope for the best here. Um, I like the medium brush to go and kind of add the outline of it in, just because we don't have a huge space to work with. Um, when you get down to this edge here where it's against the white, if it mixes together a little bit, that's okay, because we're gonna come back in in a little bit and add in this like fur trim. So in the shape on the example, it's the top of the hat and then it kind of swoops down like a Santa hat would. Um, if you don't like that shape, you can kind of make it however you want. Um, so we're going to just fill in this space above his head with red, and that'll be where the hat goes. That's awesome. The red paint is also really thin, so we're going to just try to get a couple layers on it. Um, You can do whatever you want. The fun part of uh, painting is that you get to use your imagination. You are exactly right. And I'm painting over the black and mine's pretty dark red and I actually kind of like that. I think the color looks great. So if yours looks like this and you like it, that's fine. Otherwise, you can let this dry a little bit, and we'll just continue to add. Yes. So I'm drawing just a little angle from about uh, halfway around his head, um, and I'm just going towards the top right corner of the canvas, and it's going to look like a hat's kind of sitting there on his head. And if you look right there, mine got mixed in just a little bit on the white paint, and that's okay because we're going to come back in a little bit and cover over that. Definitely. I'm going to fan mine off a little bit here and see if we can get some of this to dry. Once you've got your hat kind of um, drawn into the area up on this top corner, we're going to let that dry for a bit. And if you want to go back in a few minutes and put another coat, we can definitely do that just to make the red a bit um, brighter. Um, while we're waiting for that, I think the background should be getting close to dry. Um, so we're going to take that very small pointy brush again, and we're going to come in and do some of those snowflakes. So in the example one, we had just a few large snowflakes, and then I went through with the white and did some tiny dots, kind of like snowfall or stars or whatever you want it to look like. I heard somebody say they were going to do a moon. Um, so if your black background's dry, now is the time to come in and try to do a moon. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, my hat's pretty dark too. That's okay. So to make a snowflake, we're going to do, remember we learned that snowflakes have six sides, right? So we know that. So we're going to do a, um, a line up and down. I 
And then we're going to make a, an X through it. So we have 6, six little lines. And you can paint as many snowflakes or as many dots as you want. You can not do any if you like it kind of plain. That works too. Um, that's totally up to you guys and how you want it to look. And then once I have my um, crisscross and my line here, I go ahead and I go back on the end of each one and just put a little tail on them. How's everybody doing on their snowflakes? Good. Good. How many are you guys all going to do? What are you thinking? Not doing any snowflakes. You're not going to do the snowflakes? Are you, are you going to do the little dots or just plain? Dots. Awesome. Cool. I've got a little snowflake in here, and I did a big one on the bottom. You just did a lot. My snowman looks creepy because it has no face. Oh no, well we'll get to that. I mean, I feel like when you build a snowman, the face goes on last anyway, right? So. Yeah, but sometimes when you put on the rocks in the face, it'll, uh, the, uh, they'll just fall out and the face will fall out. Yikes. I put two big ones and a young and a little one. Awesome. I think this is going to be my last big one just so I can put some dots on here. All right, Adrian, I see in the chat you have one snowflake. I kind of want to see it. If you have your camera on, let's hold that up so we can see what it looks like. Okay, that works. At the end, we're going to all have like show and tell with our pictures or we're going to try it anyway. So I want to see that one snowflake. On the hat, I'm going to put like some snow on there since, it, since some snow fell on the hat. Awesome. I put this idea, but I don't know if there's any later ones I put. Awesome. I'm going to... Cool. I'm 
Yeah, let me show that up there. Hold on. All right. Can you see him? I guess on the... Okay. I guess on my model, I had the little, like, swoopy part of the hat. On the one I'm doing right now, I left it off. Um, so you guys can add that on, or you can just leave a plain, um, plain hat with no tail. It's kind of up to you guys. Okay, you can make sure if you've got the time, go ahead and um, draw one in there. And it just kind of comes down this way to a little point, and then we'll go back in a little bit and put the um, pom pom on the end there. Awesome. Okay, how's everybody doing? Are you doing okay on the snowflakes? Are we about done with that? You're not going to give him any shine? Why not? Oh, okay. All right, let's go ahead and let the um, snowflakes dry, and we're going to go ahead and start on that scarf. Um, let's see here. I say we can go ahead and use the medium, the little bit smaller brush. I think that'll be a little better than the big one. A um, little more control over the shape of it. So go ahead and make sure that flat kind of medium shape brush is nice and clean and dried off on your paper towel. Um, and then we're going to need the green paint. Okay. So in that first, when we put the shadow on the snowman, if you can kind of see on mine, I kind of did a round shape just so the head um, kind of retained that nice uh, snowball effect. So when I come back in with the scarf, I'm going to start just under that. And I'm going to follow the shape of the round head. And we're going to swoop all the way up under his chin to the back of the canvas. And mine's going to take about two or three widths of the brush to make the full scarf. So I just keep starting here and pulling the paint back towards the middle. Awesome. Okay. That's okay. So I've got my first, like around his neck, I've got that part done. So I'm going to go over here on the right side and I'm going to put the tail on the scarf. And you want it to be about the same thickness as the scarf that we already painted. So we're going to bring this, start at the top and just bring it down. Nice. And then I like to bring the second tail back here behind it a little bit shorter, just so you can kind of tell the difference. I left a little space in between there. Yeah, 
You added ruffles? That's very cool. I can't wait to see that when we're all done. Awesome. I think I made this far tail too long. I don't think there's such a thing as too long. <laughs> okay, while that is still kind of wet there, I'm going to go ahead and put the fringe on the end. I'm using black. I'm using that tiny little paintbrush again. Just a very tiny bit of black paint. And then I'm just going right at the edge of my tail and just kind of pulling them down. And you want them to kind of be very thin looking, um, very light. Um, just kind of keep going along the edge until you have, both of the tails have fringe. That's okay. You can use green. If you have red, you can use red. You can do no fringe. Somebody said they had a ruffle. I don't know if that's on this part. Um, whatever works for you, that's what you're going with, all right? Mine picked up a little green, so mine's... We're getting there. Okay, we're going to let that part dry. While you have your um, brush in the black paint already, we're going to go ahead and put the eyes, the mouth, and the buttons on. So go ahead and make sure you don't have any green mixed in with your black. I'm going to just wipe mine off on my paper towel. I'm not going to put it back in the water. And I'm going to come back up here just above the nose and to the left. We're going to put about midway between the end of his nose and the side of his face. I'm going to put the first eye. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an oval shape. You can do a perfect circle. You can do big, little, whatever kind of works for you. And I put my second eye just to the right of the end of the nose. And you want to make sure they look pretty, pretty close in shape and size. Um, Uh-oh. I don't think anybody wants a terrifying snowman, but we'll get there. Hopefully he's getting better as we go here. All right, how's that look? I don't like it. <laughs> okay. So we've got, once you've got your eyes on there, um, you can use this. Yours has a tongue? All right, we're going to go ahead. After I've got my eyes on there, I'm going to start on the mouth. Same, same method here. We're going to use the small black paintbrush or small skinny paintbrush with black paint. We're going to start just under his nose over here with a very small circle, just kind of on the edge of his mouth or on the edge of his nose. The rest of my circles will be a bit bigger and we're going to do, I've got five on the example so we can do, you know, four or five, six, whatever works for what you're doing. Um, I'm going to go with the next one about here. Your mouth? Yeah. No. Yeah. Right now. Um, I, I guess. I just wanted to be made out of honey or something. I'm not. Because I, I can't. I maybe it was a, it was a little bit of a spark because it's probably. That's okay. If you have a little space, just kind of squeeze it in there. Um, mine's gonna go under his nose, 
and then kind of up around the side. So I guess if yours starts above the nose, that's okay. Mine's just facing down. It's like getting bigger. That's all right. One has to cover it, then it's a little bit too long. Okay. Mine snowmen have a cherry, and that's the tongue. Awesome. I'm eating a cherry. A cherry, okay. All right, I put. Your yours is gonna have braces. Uh, there's gonna be lines connected to it. Very cool. Do you have braces? No. Oh, okay. I'll get them when I'm older and once we have enough money. Awesome. All right, I made my mouth kind of misshapen because I feel like if we're using rocks or coal. They're a little weird shape, so I like it like that. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. And while we're on the black, we're going to go ahead and put those buttons on his belly there, too. So the example one, I'll put that back in the picture, has three buttons down the front. And we kind of go down this side here um, at the same angle that, his, that the snowball is. So we'll start under the scarf on the first one. Um, you can make big, little, however you want to do it. If you want to do more than three, that's okay too. Well, my on the rocks for the belly, you you can't really tell if they're even, and mine definitely isn't even. That's okay. And also, they're fat. Uh oh. Yeah, you can have any si any no, size rock for a snowman. Definitely. While we're waiting on those buttons to dry, I'm gonna go back over my hat just real quick to see if I can. Make it a little brighter red. It's still pretty dark, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to keep putting another coat on there. If you have any other things that are dry and look like they need a touch up, now would be a good time to do that. Um, otherwise, go ahead and finish up your buttons and we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and we'll have a couple more trivia questions in a minute or two. All right. Okay. So everyone just kind of finish up whatever you've got going, check and make sure everything's drying good and Touch up anything you think needs it right now. I just noticed my snowman has an ear muffin hat with reindeers on the top. Very cool.
did say you decided to use Zoom? Um, we just thought that was going to be the easiest way to do this. It's not quite done, but we're getting there. I think everything else that we have left is just the detail work. So if you like it how it is, you can definitely leave it like that. Um, otherwise, we're going to wait this, for this to dry just a minute or two, and we're going to come back and add in the, um, the shadow and the lines on the nose. We've got some white that's going to go into the eyes, and we're going to put the fur trim on the hat. Mine just needs to... With the original one? I don't know if I can get... I can't get them both in at the same time, but that's what we were... They look exactly the same, except for some stuff. Yeah, so we still need to add in the, the fur here. If you want to decorate your scarf, once that's dry, you can go back in and add those shapes in. And then we're going to go back and do these little white um, dots on the mouth and the eyes and the buttons. And we got the nose... or the lines on the nose. Mm-hmm. I got a really cool effect because when I had this color the most up, it actually, um, now it looks like it's actually stuck into the green design and all the nuances are all just kind of green. Cool. I'm not going to design my scarf at all. Okay. I'm not going to add it here. I'm not going to add it here. I'm happy with it. Okay. Well, we're going to let this dry. Um, we're going to go and do the next two trivia questions again. So if everybody wants to quiet down, don't forget this is not, um, don't speak the answers. We're only taking the answers that come through on the chat feature, all right? So I'm going to let everybody get ready. If you need a parent to help you, um, have them get ready so they can type your answer in. We have two questions we're going to do, um, and it's going to be a $10 gift, to, gift certificate to Target for each one of those. So I'm going to let everybody get ready, and then I'll start reading the question. Hold on just another moment. All right. So this is our third question of the evening. Um, the question is, in the movie Frozen, there is a lovable snowman named Olaf. How many black buttons does Olaf have? All right. We've got lots of answers. I think... Ashley Terrell, is that the first one there, Todd? Yeah. All right, Ashley Terrell, you had the first correct answer. The answer is three. Olaf has three buttons, just like our snowman here. Um, so, Ashley, we will get your information, and we will get a gift card out to you after this is over. All right. I thought it was four, but I had to look this one up and I found his picture and he definitely has three. So three is the answer. All right, we're going to have one more question. So everybody quiet down again. Um, this is our last one for the evening. It's a little bit harder. Um, okay, here we go. The tallest snowman ever built was 122 feet, one inch tall and was completed on February 26, 2008. In what state was this snowman built? So he was built in the U.S. We want to make sure, we want the name of the state that the tallest snowman was built. Let's see, we've got some different answers coming through here. Let's see what we've got. Amanda Winters, you've got it. Maine is the correct answer. How did you know that? <laughs> awesome. Good job, Abe. All right. We'll get a $10 Target gift card out to you as well after the event's over. Okay. How's everybody doing in the drying department? We're getting to close to the end here. Um, so I think if everyone's doing okay, my hat is still a little wet because I put that extra coat on. So my firm... My fur trim might be a little weird, but we'll keep going here. All right. Let's start with um, 
Let's start with the carrot nose, because I think that's probably the driest that we have right now. Okay, so I'm going to put the example picture back up so you can kind of see what we're going for here. We're going to come in on the top of it just a little bit with white and just shade it ever so slightly on the top, on the bottom, and you can kind of go around the curve over here. And then we're going to come back through with our black paint and just put some little... Um, Kind of, you know, like the little cracks in the carrot. We're going to add those in, and you can add a couple, a lot, however you want that to look. Um, yeah, just whatever works. Awesome. That's perfect. All right, we're going to do the white first. We want that on the bottom. I take my white paint, or my skinny paintbrush again, dip it in white, and then I kind of take off a little bit on my paper towel. Just because we want very little white paint on there, we want it to be very thin. We're just trying to make this a little bit of a shadow. And so I'm going to start on the left side of that nose, kind of by the point, and go about halfway up the top about to where the carrot and the snowman's head meet. That's where I'm going to stop that light shadow there. And then I'm going to come back in on the right side of the curve on the end of his nose here and just a little bit around. And again, if your nose is still wet and you're picking up a little bit of that orange paint, that's okay because we want just a really nice light orange or very faded white color there. So I've got it on the top here, on the side, and then I'm going to do just a small little line on the bottom. And again, just kind of smooth that out and blend it in. Okay, that's awesome. All right, once you get your white, I'm going to go back with that same paintbrush. I cleaned it off. I dried it off. I'm going to put it in the black paint. Again, just a very tiny little bit on the end of your brush. Don't put the whole brush in there and get a glob of paint. So we're going to go with just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to come back through, and just every so often, I'm going to start on the edge of the carrot and make a little line. Almost like a tiger stripe. <laughs> I'm going to come back here and do one. And I'm trying to make mine pretty skinny. You can make them a little bit fatter if you've got more paint on the brush. Really skinny, really light, really dark, whatever, um, whatever you like there. Everybody's carrot can look a little different. If you had some, you know, like mistakes earlier when we did the black and your carrot's a little dark in spots, you can use this to kind of cover that up too. So this is a good uh, method to fix it. I'm going to put one more on the bottom here, and then I think mine will be, be about done. Ashley's asking you to see the final one again. Yeah, let me show you that original one. That's his face, and then we have the buttons. Did you do that or in someone else? I painted the original one. That was my, I had to teach myself how to paint him so I could come teach you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let that carrot dry there. We're going to use that same little brush again. And now is the time, if you want to decorate your scarf, you can either use the tiny brush or the medium brush. And you're going to get some white paint. And just kind of ever so slightly, you can make some stripes. Um, my original one had stripes, zigzags, and polka dots. So you can do any kind of pattern you want on that. Okay. 
For the scarf decorations, you do not need to use the white paint. I am using it just because that's what my example was. If you want to use a different color or leave it plain, you are more than welcome to do that. Uh, my green is still a little wet, so I think it's going to pick up in the white, and that I kind of like that, so that's fine by me. Um, and I'm just going to make some stripes here, and then I'll let it all dry together. We're going to go zigzag. You can go big, little, whatever, whatever you like. That would be awesome. You might have some extra paint here. If not, just any kind of washable craft paint would work. Um, they have the little canvases that we're painting on. You can always buy extra ones of those at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or probably Amazon. Um, and these are just 8 by 10 size. You're doing orange polka dots? That's awesome. I love it. Perfect. Cool. I think I put my hand in the scarf over here because my snowman now has green. That's okay. 